Photopia offers four different user interfaces for you to work in. Advanced, Compact, Basic, and Light. You can easily switch between them while creating your shows, allowing you to choose a layout that works best for you. The light layout only has two panels, the light box on the left and the options panel on the right. In this interface, your slides appear in a left to right, top to bottom grouping instead of a linear timeline. This user interface gives you the least amount of customization options, which makes it the easiest interface to use if you only want to apply slide styles and transitions, but not customize them. In this layout, you can adjust your slide and transition times, rearrange your slides, choose different transitions and slide styles, and add captions and music. All four user interfaces will have the following tabs as seen in the options panel in the light user interface. The preview window is where you will play back your show or slides. It has playback controls at the bottom, including additional choices for going to a specific slide, toggling full screen playback, and playing only the selected slide. The browser tab is where you will navigate through your computer to find your files to add to your show. This tab includes a search box and sort options to make finding your files easier. The slide style tab is where you can find styles to apply to your slides. You can search through categories listed on the left or use the search bar at the top. Once you have selected a style, you can preview it before applying it to your slide. The Content tab shows a list of files you have in your selected slide, including images, video files, caption layers, and solids and gradients. This tab also gives you easy image editing options, including image adjustments, and the ability to crop your image manually, or by using a preset aspect ratio from a drop-down list. When a caption layer is selected, the Content tab displays text options, such as changing the font, size, color, and text. The Audio tab is where you can add a soundtrack to your show, either from the Photopia Music Library or by adding your own music. This tab is also where you can set your music volume, fade in and out times, and there is also a trim window where you can trim the beginning or the ending of your songs. The Show tab is where you'll find your show settings, including the show name, thumbnail, aspect ratio, and other details. To change your UI layout, simply click on the UI Layout button at the top of the screen and choose a different layout. The basic layout is similar to the light layout, but it separates the browser and preview tabs from the other tabs in the Options panel. With the Browser tab open, the Options panel displays information related to the image or music file that you have selected. Once you've added an image to a slide, and selected that slide, the Options panel automatically switches to the Slide Styles tab, and the Browser tab switches to the Preview tab. From here, you can select a slide style, preview what it will look like with your image, and apply it to your selected slide. The advantage of separating the Browser and Preview windows from the other tabs is that your Preview window will continue to be displayed when you're searching for styles, editing the content, or adding music. The Advanced Layout adds a fourth panel, the Navigation panel on the left. This panel displays your layers list and all of the options for your project, show, and slides. The Navigation panel works in unison with the Options panel. Each selection in the Navigation panel will open a corresponding view in the Options panel. For example, when a layer is selected in the Layers tab in the Navigation panel, the Option panel displays Layer Settings, Adjustment Options, Animation Options, and Effects. When Slide Sound is selected in the Navigation panel, 
the Options panel displays tabs for audio settings, soundtrack, and slide sounds. The Slide View panel at the bottom also has more options shown in the Advanced Layout. The slide view shows your slides, transitions, and music in a left-to-right linear fashion and allows you to change your slide and transition times numerically. The timeline view allows you to adjust your slide and transition times visually in relation to your soundtrack instead of numerically. It also provides a set of audio tools, allowing you to edit your soundtrack with more precision. The keyframes view allows you to see all of your keyframes for all layers at the same time, giving you the ability to visually arrange or align your keyframes across multiple layers. The advanced layout is the most complex of the user interface choices, but it is where you are offered the most control to create your own animations or make advanced adjustments to existing slides. Finally, Compact Mode is identical to Advanced Mode, but the interface is designed to provide a better user experience for smaller monitors such as laptops.